This conference will now be recorded. So, if you want to <clears throat> learn any programming language, such as Python or any, any programming language, how to learn programming language, correct? No? So, first question you should ask, very, very first question, how to store? How to store how to store the program so if you say python we use dot py <clears throat> any file dot py and if you say java then anything dot java but uh, this is how this we store the code but uh, Python is a <clears throat> interpreted language. So you don't need to compile. Okay. Okay. So not applicable. But, uh, but uh, here Java is a compiled language. So you need to compile and create a dot class. Okay. Okay. So this is something. So I got to know like how to store. Then next thing is how to how to run Python program. Python program. Correct me. No? So if you want to run the Python program, uh, simple Python and file name dot py. That's all. Okay, so I got to know this also. Now, next thing is how to start with hello world in Python. Hello world in Python, that means I just want to run one hello world. Okay, so for this, let me create one directory. Let me Python complete reference. This URL you can use it. Here. This URL you can use it for all the program remaining things. So first thing how hello programs hello world program so just copy and this is the program one dot py Yeah. And it Python is installed in my machine. So how do we install? So if you go to the python.org, uh, this is the website. So you can download and install that in Windows itself. 3.0, that's a version. You have to install it. So now hello world program is here. Print. This is the one function method whatever you want to call it hello python this is just to display uh, so print method you have a basis okay now if you want to give the single line comment this is the way you can give it and if you want to give multi-line comments this is the way you can give it are you able to see that okay so simple i will go to file and 
run python one dot py and here i should know this is it so now i got to know uh, okay we need to install the python then store the code in the py run using this and hello world program okay so now any programming language you have learned then you have to start with variables okay variables that is very important so let's start with variables today so i need a little bit of pp3 support actually uh -huh. so so let's start with variables data types what we call it so in python we have so many data types as you can see on the screen you have a numeric you have a dictionary you have a boolean you have a set you have a sequence type so when you want to use numeric you have integer complex number float and when you when you want to use sequence type then you have a string list tuple and all now this is categorized into two part primarily <laughs> one is mutable data types and another one is immutable data types so mutable data types which is basically list dictionary sets immutable data types means number strings tuples so what is a mutable and immutable so mutable data types in python where the value is assigned to a variable can be changed can be mutable okay it can be changed later point of the time that means list dictionary and sets can be changed but immutable data types are data types uh, in python where the value assigned to a variable cannot be changed for example number string and tuples you cannot change the value value okay so there is one more classifications we have in python one is we call it a primitive and another one is call it non primitive so primitive means the data types which got incorporated with the python release earlier release and later on uh, you added other uh, data types also like list array files tuple sets so if you see that here this is the little broader one so here you have a pretty primitive you have an integer float string boolean non primitive you have array list tuple dictionary set files and all uh, now how do we define that data types so if you see that here uh, numbers we define like just like that you see that in front of your screen 1 2 3 4 or 3.14 complex third one decimal fraction how we define the string how do we define the list i want you i want you to focus on the list which is square bracket dictionary which is in curly tuple in a parenthesis so that is a very important question in all of the interview actually list dictionary and tuples other data types file sets and all will use anyways and understand this so here we have uh, if you want to dis, uh, declare integer then if you look at this java you have to type int and answer 42 answer is an integer and value is 42 but in python you don't have to do that answer is equal to 42 directly so that means uh, some programming language which is very strongly typed language strongly typed means every developer every variables you declare it will be you have to assign that type for example if you see the c++ plus, c sharp and java on top that is all 
but python is a loosely typed language that means you just define the variable without declaring what type of it automatically it will understand that so uh, python how do you define the numbers so integer float complex you see the integer you have 10 float 1.5 and complex 3.4g so how do we do that so now you can also you can also uh, see that the error here so there's one function which is called add numbers okay and the parameter is pass 5 and 11 so if you if you pass the same type of number i mean uh, data types then into i mean all these uh, operators can be used uh, so it will become a 60. but if you try to add numbers where you require the two integer but you have given five or something one string you have given so that kind of error you will get it type error unsupported operand types plus on whatever it is so how do we do that then how do we hint that this is integer or what exactly so in function you can use that a colon integer b colon integer like that and you can hint that uh, 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 python to consume as an integer so like this you can hint it okay so yes you see that answer is a uh, integer pi is a uh, float and you can run answer plus pi and uh, between the integer float uh, you don't have to worry about the conversion automatically it will take it uh, you can also set like uh, int pi is equal to 3 that means this way also you can do that but because python is loosely typed uh, you don't have to uh, do that so it's up to you so this is a something so these are the types of these are the types of variables which you have so primarily you have to look for integers then string string then you have to work with uh, float then you have to work with list then you have to work for tuple then you have to work for dictionary and then sets so these are the most important one but others also you can practice it are you comfortable with this this types all of you hello yes sir Anshul. yes sir Anshul? yeah okay now after knowing this some of the variable types you have to know operators and this is very important operators so how many operators we have because uh, with the variables you cannot do anything without operators Correct. so what to do with the variables you have operators so in python we have a arithmetic operator assignment operator comparison operator logical operator identity operator membership operator bitwise operator so these are the operators we have in the python so this is a little bit of good uh, slice which you can see that arithmetic operator relational operator and a, an assignment operator so in arithmetic operator you have addition subtract, subtraction multiplication division modulus power exponentials and all stuff like that now how do we uh, express it so you can see in the second last column 2 plus 5 40 plus uh, minus 5 and all and that's the results you get it uh, you can also see the relational operator so less than greater than less than or equal to more or less we understand that because this is a common for any programming language as such so relational operator is there assignment operator you have it at the bottom section is equal to plus is equal to means if you see add and assign that means plus is equal to so add a two uh, on top of that so here uh, minus is equal to and all stuff like that divide and assign 
multiply and assign and something like that. So these are the popular operators and examples and the results. So, so here some of the string, the one data type, you can see that here. Some of the string data type, some examples has been given. So let's understand this. So here, hello world, you can write is equal to hello world and is equal to hello world. So these all are can be string actually. Either you write in single quote, double quote, or triple quote. Uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, same. Now hello is a string and capitalize is a function. So if you want to use any function, I mean function. Uh, in a string also there are so many functions actually so list of functions on a string so capitalize functions which is hello so that way you can capitalize replace is a function where replacing e with a is alpha is a function that will tell you if this true or false but i see in hello dot capitalized it only converted mm. what first letter right why didn't it convert all letters why it did not because capitalize uh, is a function which will only uh, make it the first letter of your string there is a upper lower upper case upper function is there lower function is there so many functions are there uh, which will help you to get that one okay, okay. So one is digit is alpha. Uh, these are the Boolean functions. That means it will tell you whether it's a digit or is alpha or alphabetic or not. Last one, if you see that there is one string, the value is separated by comma, some CSB values. So here you are splitting and the delimiter which you are providing is comma. That means split that comma. So the results of split function is is a list if you look at this okay so here you got a list so this way you can also generate a list okay so you can also format the string functions okay format the string functions uh, so here in name is equal to python bo and machine is hl so here when you use the format function in a string so format function requires some parameter in which way you want to put it so this is the order is important here so let's say format function name and the variable name name and machine you set it up so name will become a uh, curly braces zero and machine will become a curly braces one so whatever the index number you have for this you it, it will be set so in results you will have a nice to meet you Python BO HL, I am HL. Now this is a simplistic simplistic way also you can put it up. F, nice to meet you, curly braces name. Directly instead of index number, you are giving the, the variable name, but in curly braces. So this is also you can do that. Are you understanding? Yes, sir. Now this is a boolean function, a boolean uh, data type, some examples. So here you have Python course is equal to true. That's a boolean or Java course is equal to false. Here you can also set uh, this true and false in a number also, but you have to specify that what exactly, otherwise it will become a, a integer. So here you are saying, hey, integer Python course is equal to one. That means Python course is equal to true an integer java course like that you can also put it in a string python course here you are saying string true so that way also you can set up a boolean there is a one more uh, which we have apart from the true false we have none also very least used aliens found is equal to none means you are not declaring variable this way so this is the string and then uh, this is the boolean now if you see the list here okay list so what is a list so list is a sequence of values similar to an array in other programming language 
but more versatile okay so the values in the list are called items or sometime element the important properties of python list are as follow lists are ordered that means list remember the order of item inserted and you can access the list by index like a 0 1 2 something like that list can contain any sort of objects so list the element what you see it can contain numbers also string also tuples also and even other list also and lists are mutable that means you can change it okay so you can change in place add new items and delete or ex update existing items look at this here so there is one list on top and the list is represented by curly i mean square bracket the element is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so here if you see that index number 0 is equal to 0 1 is equal to 1 like that so here index and element both are matching so how do we how do you reference this uh, list so if you see that index number you have put it in the square bracket list square bracket is equal to 0 and stuff like that now left side you might be comfortable i think but right side it's a little you know uh, more learnings if you see so if you yeah. want to space yeah uh, if you want to uh, use all this uh, element you want to use uh, print all the elements so you can put like this zero polar that means start from zero and go to the end of the index here second one if you see that only colon is there that means everything if you see two colon four means start the index two and then print up to the four one two three and you see the start from anything from the zero and go up to the four and something like that so this is something which we, we have look at this here negative index also this is a negative index mostly you will be asked in the interview actually so remember so there is a one uh, list and you have a element p r o b e so index which you know that is there but for this negative index just hard code your mind uh, index 0 is equal to negative index na na, uh, minus 5 also minus 5 minus hyphen 5 hyphen 4 hyphen 3 Two, one. So that way also you can use it. Negative index is also you can use it. So here if you see that student names which you have is empty list and the next one you have declared three elements Mark, Katrina and Jessica. So see here uh, if you want to print the mark index 0 and Jessica minus 1 which will be Jessica because mark will be minus 2 i guess see index 0 1 2 3 4 5 4 so minus 5 will be minus 4 minus 5 minus 4 so here if you see that so minus 1 will become minus 4 Oh, just a second, hold on. Jessica, yeah, 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 true. So minus minus one, minus two, minus three, yeah, correct. So zero, one, two, minus three is equal to mark, minus two is equal to Katrina, and minus one is equal to Jessica. So that is a negative index. Are you able to understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. So keep in mind negative uh, um, this negative indexing and so. So yeah, this is the changing the list element. So here you are changing from Mark to James. So because list is mutable, you can change it. Tuple is not mutable. So I'll discuss in this. And so these are the, some of the ah huh, list can be duplicated also. Okay. Uh, tup yeah. Yeah. So here there are certain list functions which you have you can see that there is one third one you see that append so up when you when you want to add any new element you can't say student names 3 is equal to homer 
that's not good you have to append that okay so if you want to check any element uh, whether it's in list or not so fifth line you can see that so you are saying mark which is element in a list name student names true or false if you want to check the length of list length if you want to delete some element del and so on okay so this is something which you have you can slice also uh, the element slice means only print this something which you want so this you have saw seen that student names one colon so display anything from the element number index number one to last and here display anything from one to minus one so here uh, one will be katrina and minus one will be so 0 1 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 so homer minus 1 means homer that means it will display katrina so some of the printing functions also you see that print print anyways welcome program i have shown you so printing yes, function here you are okay so this is the uh chain numbers and stuff like that so how do we practice it so come to my page here this is a consolidated page i created and here you have a section called python variables okay so here i have uh, given all these types of uh, examples so let's say i'll go for the numbers string list these are the things which we discussed so see here this program you can execute it so for example here this is an integer let me copy paste see here and this we are printing so enter copy paste and observe this here now next one is float here so copy paste this is float this is coming because become a comment so you have to remove it this one and enter this is the float and next one is string so lots of strings are there let me copy paste so here you see there is a string and here you are printing the length of s okay and here you are replacing world with universe so there is a string hello world replacing world with universe and printing it here you are splitting and joining the string so here you have a string which is red green blue yellow and splitting uh, using the delimiter comma and printing it and then you can also print single one also so let me that so here see here 34 hello universe and stuff like that so this is the way you can practice a little bit of it list you have here so let me copy this one so here if you see that there is a list okay and you want to print single element second element so red and blue here you are slicing so 2 to 5 uh, it will display 0 1 2 so 2 3 4 this one not 5 it will display 2 to 5 you know, except except the 5 it will display obviously here you are changing the element you are changing because it's immutable mutable and here you are adding element so append is there so, so you can check this so check the logic like this and practice it now after that we have a some something called conditioning conditioning and looping and functions and class so uh, yeah 
so let's put it in a different sessions so these are the some of the variables uh, okay. i'll talk i'll talk about the tuples list and all little later that side ones operators and all so you have to practice it now what we learned today how to store how to run how to run uh, hello world some of the variables we learned and some of the operators we used it now uh, next function next thing will be conditions looping functions uh, oops concept and all will take forward okay 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 then see you tomorrow yeah thank you and